Now I don't know how well you can see this, but I've got a perch just there that I fixed to this tree. I made the perch out of a piece of hazel that I cut from the wood and I've put a game camera just there. Now the reason I put the camera there is because I want to get a picture of the Kingfisher again. The last video that I got was okay, but I think I can do better. So I'm using the same camera, but a slightly different location on my pond. I'm not sure whether it comes out very well, but there's like a slight bend in that perch. And the other day when I came out, the middle of that perch was wet, but it hadn't been raining. That would indicate that something has gone into the pond and then come out and sat on that perch. Really, that could only be a kingfisher or possibly a dipper. We do get dippers up here, so that's the reason I've set that camera there, to try and capture a kingfisher or possibly even a dipper. Right, I changed positions. Haven't checked what was on from the previous perch. I just brought it straight to here. It's been here another two or three days, maybe. And I think I'll move it to another perch, because I did put four or five perches around the pond. We'll give it another three or four days there, and then we'll have a look at the footage and see what we've got. This one's quite a dark location around the back end of my pond. Um, but it, it does look like quite a nice perch. There's a good bit of depth below it as well for the kingfisher to dive into. And there's quite a lot of food collected here that the trout haven't eaten. So there's bound to be little fish cruising around under here. And I've just seen something on this perch that's got me very excited. I'll show you what it is. I haven't seen this on any of the other perches. So I've got great hopes for this one. That's the first thing. Just here, we've got scales of small fish. So I'm just wondering if this is the place that the kingfisher flies to, to batter the little fish before eating them. If so, I'd like to think that camera would pick it up. Very difficult to get that set at the right angle though, to take this in with it being so close. The second thing, I don't know whether you can see it, but there's a little tiny little wispy feather there. I think that's off the underneath of a kingfisher. So this perch could be a very, very good one. It's practically dark now. The light's on, on the camcorder. I've put a treatment in my pond, which you'll see in another video. Looks milky now. This is going to be crystal clear very, very soon. I think it's time to take this camera down. I've actually just seen the kingfisher as well. Not on this perch, but I heard it flying in. It landed somewhere on the other side, screamed a few obscenities at me for making this all cloudy, and then it flew away again. And I saw it when it was flying away. So, time to check this. Let's see what we've got. We've got all sorts on this one. Oh, yes. This is a cracking one. Unfortunately, this, for me, isn't going to count towards the competition that I'm having with nature. But I'm pleased with the results. We've got a hell of a variety of birds in this garden. Check this out.
what the hell's that? That's a tawny owl sitting way too close to the camera. This is a slightly better shot of it. And hopefully I'll get better footage of it at a sensible distance from the camera in an upcoming video because I do have a camera set in a tree hoping to get either a sparrowhawk or a tawny owl because it's it's in a very good place you'll see that in an upcoming video if I manage to capture anything so there you go what an awesome collection of birds around just around the pond that's absolutely amazing there was uh, blackbirds, robins, the kingfisher, the water hen was in the background of some of the pictures and we also had a tawny owl as well and pigeons of course kind of get away from pigeons there's millions of them so that was a good result you're probably thinking I just wish that he got a video of the kingfisher diving in There you go, save the best one to last and I'm going to show you it again in slow motion. Now take note of this behaviour that the kingfisher does before it dives. It sits there all fluffed up to keep warm and in the moments before it dives it puts its feathers closer to its body to make itself more streamlined. So it goes in and in and in and in and in until it's really thin and then it flies up and allows it to dive in the water obviously it'll be able to get in a lot further and a lot faster if it's more streamlined so that's what it's doing in that moment leading up to it going up and diving check this out awesome I just wish that that one had have been my first attempt at getting the Kingfisher because it would have counted towards the Pond Guru versus Nature and I would now be in a draw, it would now be 3-2 but unfortunately in that competition it's still 3-2 to Nature because this one didn't count I already knew that the Kingfisher was visiting there because of my previous efforts so this one was just a bonus video and I'm very pleased with it even though it doesn't count thanks very much for watching I'll catch you in the next video.